Hi, Wesley Eccles and Chris Chappell here from SurfSkiRacing.com. Actually, we're here in my garage, which is the home of SurfSkiRacing.com uh, that most of you uh, viewers are familiar with. Uh, about a year ago, we brought to you the SurfSki Racing Reviews, so we decided it was time to do a power review, uh, which brings us here uh, today. Uh, before I get to the broad categories of how to choose a paddle, and also, and also the specifics of each individual paddle, I just want to thank a couple of people. Um, I want to thank Brendan from Max Paddles, who was nice enough, nice enough to send us two Max Paddles. I also want to thank uh, Epic for sending a small mid to us for purposes of this review. So, seven things that you need to consider when you're looking at paddles. Uh, the first thing is forgiveness. All these different paddles here behind me have varying degrees of forgiveness. Now what do I mean by forgiveness? Uh, I mean how forgiving the paddle is on the catch and also how forgiving the paddle is on the exit. Because let's face it, most of us don't have the perfect stroke and certainly paddling in the ocean where the boat is moving all the time, you want a forgiving paddle. You don't want a paddle that increases your instability while paddling in the ocean. So think about forgiveness of a paddle when you're using it. Uh, the second thing you want to consider is weight. All these paddles come in anywhere from 19 ounces to 27 ounces. My suggestion is, like surf skis, that you buy the lightest paddle that you can afford. Um, so keep that in mind. Because think about it, a three or four ounce difference in a paddle over a two to three hour, four hour race really increases your workload dramatically. Uh, it could be the difference between you uh, beating your buddy or not. So, so weight makes a, a difference. The fourth thing you want to consider is blade size. All these paddles here behind me with the exception of one of the Max paddles, they all fall in the range of small size to mid-size paddles blade size. Uh, if you're a big guy like Chris, 6'3", 205, you certainly can use and may want to prefer a bigger blade size. If you're a mid-size to a small paddler, then you obviously can't use or wouldn't want to use a very big blade. You want to use a small or mid-size paddle. The things to consider when choosing blade size is your power, your skill level, and also your cadence or stroke rate. I actually like a fairly high stroke rate, so I tend to use either a small, mid, or a mid-size paddle. So those are the considerations when talking about blade size. Uh, the next thing you want to consider is the different types of ferrules. All these brands behind me have slightly different type ferrules. Some require more maintenance than others. Some you can change on the fly in five seconds. Some you have to get your screwdriver out or some kind of tool to change. Um, so make sure that you're comfortable with the ferrule on that particular paddle. The one I have in my hand here, it happens to be an Ono, and they use a quick lock method. It has a lever here. You just flip it over. You can easily change the length of the paddle and also the feather angle. And this literally takes about five seconds on the water to change both the feather angle, if you so choose, or maybe more importantly, the length of the paddle, depending on the conditions. So make sure that you're comfortable with the lever lock or the twisting lock or the other type of ferrules on the paddle that you're considering. Uh, the other thing you want to consider is catch. Some paddlers prefer a very firm catch. Other paddlers like myself, I like a softer catch. And I also like a paddle that you can power throughout the stroke. Uh, so for me, I like a softer catch. I also like a paddle that is very forgiving on the exit as well. So think about catch as well. And, the, and all the catch on all these paddles are slightly different from paddle to paddle. The other thing you want to consider is the stiffness of the paddle shafts. Most of these, with exception of maybe the Epic Burgundy paddle here, they are fairly stiff. Uh, the Epic paddle here in the maroon shaft 
is fairly flexible in comparison to all the other uh, paddle shafts here. So that's certainly a consideration as well. So those are the seven considerations when thinking about uh, paddles. And again, we're talking about using these paddles in the ocean and not flat water paddling. Uh, now I'm just going to say a couple of brief comments on each individual uh, paddle, and then I'll refer you to the text portion of the, this review for more information on each individual paddle. So let's start over here with the Max paddle. Both these two are Max paddles. One has this big blade. This one now Brendan sent uh, for Chris to use or to try out uh, for this review, but it fits him because it does have a bigger blade size. Um, they have the twist lock here, and they're really a good value for uh, the amount of paddle that you get in the Max paddles. The next paddle I here, have here is the Gentax. I bought this one from fastkayaks.com. Uh, he was able to put a quick lock uh, release as far as the ferrule. And what I like about the Gentax paddles are they're probably the most forgiving uh, paddle here out of all the paddles. Very forgiving in the Gentax. Uh, the other thing you have to consider though with the Gentax, it happens to be the heaviest of all the paddles that I have here. So like surf skis, there's trade-offs between the different, the different considerations. Moving down the line here, I have another Ono. This particular Ono is my racing paddle. Uh, it's made up of carbon foam core as opposed to this one, which is all carbon. By virtue of being foam core, it's a couple of ounces lighter than this paddle here. The blades here flex slightly. It's not the most durable of the paddles here, but it certainly is the lightest and I happen to like that flex in the blades. The next paddle is an epic blue shaft. I've had this paddle for probably four years. Uh, it has the older style ferrule on it. The blue shaft in the epic configuration is the most stiff that, uh, shaft that epic makes. Both these paddle here, the blue shaft and the maroon shaft, are the, the mid-size as far as uh, uh, paddle size. And then the small mid here that Epic sent me for the purpose of this review, this is the small mid, and this would be appropriate for either somebody like myself or somebody smaller, or somebody that really wants a very forgiving paddle uh, and may want a higher cadence. This one also has the newer uh, quick release from Epic that they just upgraded over the last couple of months. And the last two paddles here are Braskas. They're fixed length. And I have a, this, these are Nebraska 7 and Nebraska 6. So, again, refer to the text of the surf ski, excuse me, the, the text of the paddle review on surfskiracing.com for more information on these individual paddles. So, while I have you here for just a few more seconds, I want to thank all the viewers for tuning in to surfskiracing.com and hope you'll continue throughout uh, this racing season to do so. And we appreciate uh, you viewing SurfSkiRacing.com.